Hey, I'm Travis from Titus Adventure Company. We're a Denver-based uh, camper van rental business. And we actually have just winterized one of our Winnebago Solus vans. But I wanted to show you kind of an interesting thing that we did to allow you to use the sink and the toilet all year round. So we'll kind of show you the ins and outs of all that. All right, so our Winnebago Solus vans are similar to RVs in that they need to be winterized during the colder months of the year. So these vans and other RVs have a bunch of water systems, the water pump, the water tank, showers and stuff. And if you don't winterize them, that water will expand and pop and break your pipes and your fixtures. So usually when you winterize these vehicles, you lose all your water functionality. You lose your sink, you lose your sink and stuff like that. But for our use case, we wanted customers uh, to still be able to use the uh, sink and toilet during the winter. So we kind of came up with an interesting solution to still winterize the van, but offer the functionality of the sink and toilet. So this is the uh, kind of system that we came up with for the winter to still use the sink. We've got a Dometic electric faucet here that's just a touch start on top. You can recharge it via USB. And then we've got three jugs down here. Two are freshwater tanks. And then the third is your gray water, which is what's gonna uh, empty out the bottom of the sink. So what we like about this is it's all pretty inexpensive. You can do all this for under 150 bucks and it's easy to install and then at the end of the winter when you want to uh, kind of open your van back up for normal water usage, taking this stuff all out is really simple and doesn't uh, cause an issue when you use your RV. So here's a look at some of the parts that you'll need and we'll put the links to the exact ones that we bought. Uh, first off, we start with the Dometic pump, and it's a pretty simple little unit, and it comes with a uh, hose, and it also interfaces with this jug, which is bought separately. But what I love about it is you can do a quick connect right into that jug, and this cap has a straw that's going down to the base of it. The hose that comes with the uh, pump is not long enough, so we bought a, a slightly longer one, and then it just fits out of the back. You also need your fresh water or your gray water tank, I should say. And um, this one seems to fit in there pretty well and it's big enough, five gallons to hold lots of the gray water. The hose that's gonna go in there looks like this. We bought this just at a hardware store. And then we attached this piece that you can buy separately that fits into the bottom of the sink and screws right on. So underneath the sink here, we need to take out the P-trap and then we're gonna install our gray water hose. So here it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna undo two um, little rings. And normally this have some water in it, so make sure you got a bucket nearby. And this will just stay, this little part we're gonna just uh, keep for the spring when we come to put it back in. And then this guy can stay here, it's not in the way. Now with our gray water hose, we're gonna just screw that right into the base of our sink. And then this will route into that gray water jug. So to start up here, we kind of turned out the normal faucet over here. We actually took the handle off to kind of disable it. We drilled a half inch hole here through the countertop, and then that's going straight down below the sink and we can reach that uh, hose from down below. And we also installed that magnetic base plate that comes with the faucet. And then it's pretty straightforward of putting the hose onto the back side. And then it clicks onto our base plate and it's ready to go. So with this exact system, we actually get six gallons of fresh water, three and three. And the way these quick connects work is when one empties, we can always toss it into the other one. And then we can also use one of these to help flush the toilet. So that's kind of the, the other neat part about this system is uh, we can use it in the bathroom. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so another neat feature of these Dometic jugs is the little spout here. And we're gonna use this to be able to flush the toilet. Once we winterize the van, the, the uh, flush button in here doesn't work anymore. But we can use this, pour it inside to help flush the toilet, and then we're done. 
slide right back in there. So that's our winter water solution for this Winnebago Solus van that allows our renters to still use the sink and the toilet. Maybe you can come up with a good way to apply it to your van as well.